guys! So welcome back to Hoppingly Ever After and um, I just wanted to say a thank you first of all to everybody who uh, watched my previous video about body image. That was definitely a very personal video for me to post but I'm so glad that I did. I've had some people tell me that it really helped them and it encouraged them so I'm glad to hear that and uh, today's video is going to be less serious and more fun. I've been wanting to do like a faves video for the month and I've seen people on YouTube do this. I think it's like you post your favorites for that month and um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like stuff that you just bought or if it's just stuff that you're enjoying. For me, I'm going to do it in a way of stuff that I'm just enjoying for the month. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I hope you have fun watching this. So my first favorite for this month has to be this frozen mug and this is something that I just found a couple of weeks ago at Goodwill. It has Anna on one side and then Elsa on the other and this was literally, I think it was 69 cents. It was like insanely cheap for a frozen mug. What I like about this is the fact you guys can see it's a little bit narrow and smaller than like a typical mug and I have a lot of mugs in my cupboard but I like to have a smaller mug for when I want to make coffee. This is the perfect size for me when I make a half a cup and I don't end up feeling jittery or whatever. It's just so nice because it's like a smaller mug. So I really am using this a lot for this month and I'm glad I found that at Goodwill. That was a great find. So the next thing I have, this I didn't buy this month. I got it like a little while back, but I am wearing it right now and it just reminded me how much I like it. That is this Fresh Paint Mood Nail Polish. And this is like a two-in-one because when your nails are cold, um, it will look lavender like what I have on right now because my hands are kind of cold. And when your hands are warm, um, it turns baby blue. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. But anyways, um, I just love the fact that it changes back and forth. I also really like the application of it, like it goes on really nicely and I find that it lasts about a week before it starts majorly chipping which is pretty good. So um, this I found at Five Below and it was five dollars I think or no it was four dollars something like that but anyways I really like that nail polish. So the next thing I had to include for this month's favorites is something that Joy Georgina just gave me in a trade package that we did this month and it's this Mood Unicorn Nightlight and you guys can see it changes colors. <laughs> it's so fun. So I can't stand bright lights, especially not when I'm trying to go to sleep for the night. So sometimes I want to have a little bit of light in my little closet nook area where my bed is, but nothing too bright. So this is the perfect amount of light. I love the punchy colors of it and it's just so cute because it's like a unicorn. I mean, what more could you want in life? So <laughs> thank you Joy for this. This definitely made my top uh, products for this month. So this next item, this is kind of funny, but um, it is this box of chocolate Lucky Charms and if you guys like normal Lucky Charms you will probably like this about a hundred times more because it's chocolate and this has a new magical unicorn marshmallow like whoa look at how awesome it is. I don't like to have a uh, cereal in the morning that's sugary because I find that I, I get like a sugar crash so usually I will have this before bed and the like four times I've had it so far before bed. I have slept so good, so I'm just gonna keep having chocolate lucky charms before bed. But yeah, those are really, really good. So the next thing I have is something that I got back in, I think it was uh, December, and I don't have a whole lot of time to read, but I have been reading this lately and I'm really enjoying it. And it is this ginormous, super heavy book. It is uh, Middle Earth from script to screen and I bought this on Amazon and it is basically like a behind the scenes look of The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, what went into making it, sorry this book is really heavy, I'm trying to prop it up on my legs. And I don't know about you guys but I just really find it fascinating how movies are made and some of what goes into behind it, uh, behind the scenes like the lighting and the computer technology and the costumes and it's just so fun so this book is awesome um i can read just like a page of it at night when i go to bed and it's not super heavy reading but i definitely am enjoying this book very much so the next thing that i have or two things actually it's an outfit 
is this pair of leggings and they're really sporty. I got them to do some working out at home, just some light exercising. I love the sporty design that is on the side with the like neon colors and they're super stretchy and comfortable. And then I also like to wear this hoodie with it. And uh, the leggings were from Five Below by the way, and this was from Goodwill. And I don't typically like to buy clothes that have um, like logos on them, but this one's really faded. You can't really see it that much. So I just love the material of it. It's like one of those good transitional items you can wear between spring and summer when it's like kind of not too cool and not too warm. Um, but it's just so comfortable. I love the coral color of it. Speaking of working out, um, I have these ankle weights and these I'm using to try to build extra strength and uh, muscle on my legs. And I believe this set is four pounds total. And I have, there's a hair on this. I have another set that I use for my other legs. So I got two sets of these. These were at five below as well. And they're working out really great. Like my legs and my butt have been so sore in the morning, which means that they are working. And uh, it's just something simple that I'm able to do at home that doesn't take too much energy and too much time. So um, I have three more items here. So these are kind of together, but I'm really enjoying this rose hand cream and this rose body mist. And I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond in January and they were having a clearance sale because they sadly discontinued this stuff. And I was so sad. I was like, no, this stuff is probably my favorite scent in the entire world. It's just so, so nice. So the last item is something that somebody gave to me to try and I ended up really liking it. And that is these Biggs Simply Salted Pumpkin Seeds. And um, I like to have nuts a lot of days because they have uh, protein, they have micronutrients, um, high in calories, and sometimes I get tired of just having nuts. So these are uh, an additional thing that I can have as well. They also have a lot of uh, protein and you know nutrients and stuff like that in them. And they have a lightly salted taste, so they're not like overly salty, but they're just so, so good. I just like pour them in my mouth. <laughs> so I just thought I'd mention that. But those are all of my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want what your favorite things are for April, what things you're enjoying, and uh, maybe I'll try them and then I'll end up liking them too. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.